Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to my hobby space. I'm finally getting around to painting my troglodon. I kind of want to do my whole Seraphon army in contrast paints just to see if it can be done. But I don't have any purple. So what I'm going to do, I've got some MSP Bones Witchcraft Purple, which is a nice color. I'm going to add some uh, Lamin, 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 Ram, Lam, yeah. I've got some Lam. I can't say this word. That's a lamen medium. And we add a bit of dish soap. And let's see what we can get. So first thing I'm going to do is add just a drop of dish soap. Well, that's probably too much. Anyway, one drop of dish soap. One, two, three, four drops of purple. Why not? Put a little drop there. Five drops of purple. Let's get my paint. A one, a two, three, four drops of lemon purple. And mix them up. Now where do I want to put the purple? This is back purple. That should give me a transparent purple with the soap helping to break the surface tension. So far I like the color and it's spreading pretty well, so that's good. Not bad coverage for a DIY contrast paint. Three or four. For my next coat of purple, I'm going to use, again, three or four drops of this purple uh, witchcraft. Some three or four coats of lemon medium. One drop of twilight purple, which is a slightly darker purple. And one drop of soap. And I'm going to put this on, but not on as much of the dinosaur. Uh, I want this one to be more just on his back. So he's got lighter on the sides and darker on top. I'm going to try to keep the fin on his back and on the back of his head and his belly a lighter purple shade. So just the top of his head, his back, his shoulders. and get this darker color. I'd love to hear what color you painted all of your troglodons. So please comment down below. If you don't think mine's good, I don't need to hear that. But if you want to share what you have, I'd be happy to hear. I'm going to switch to a finer brush and I want to do the area by the fin on his back, but not the fin itself. The key thing if you're using these contrast paints is start with the lighter color and then gradually just go over the top of it with the darker colors because it's easier to blend the contrast colors that way. I think it's easiest to see that the first coat of my contrast paint appeared by his face. It's really light. Kind of here in the shoulder is the second coat of everything and that's the third one. And as you build them up over each other you get these color contrasts that look really nice. Oops, I forgot some spikes down here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put a Karaberg Crimson Wash or Shade over the whole model to tie it all together. I've been doing a black base for all of my Seraphon bling and then coming over afterwards and just dry brushing it with 
Retributor Armor Gold. Normally when I do metallics I'll do Lead Belcher as the base. But I kind of like the effect I got when I did these with a black base. So it makes the Seraphon look a little different than the other armies. Looks pretty good, right? I think this is my favorite by far contrast color. It's just a fantastic color. Really wanted a vibrant green. I don't really have one. So I'm just going to try Plague Bearer Flesh. See how that does for his sacks here. Yeah, it looks all right. I didn't like the way the tongue looked, so I painted it over again with the bone. I'm gonna try this nylock oxide for his tongue. Mm hmm, I like that. Bought nylock oxide for my night haunt, but I actually really like using it for lots of other things too. Take a tiny dab of yellow, tiny dab of this bone color. Mix those together. Just give me a really bright yellow. I'm just gonna pull that slightly over some of the high pots here. Using pure white, kind of too strong. The ivory works as a really good final highlight, more than say white would. I'm gonna put another green wash over that, still to give those contrasts. This nylac oxide isn't the strongest color. Sometimes you're gonna have to do more than one coat. It does not look a lot better than just a red tongue. I think it does. I'm going to do a slight Karaberg crimson wash around his mouth. Just around his gum lines and stuff. The bottoms of his teeth, right around the gums. Doesn't look like he's flossed very much recently. This will really helps set the teeth out from the rest of the face, set them apart. I was thinking to use just like non oil or something, but this will give them a good bloody gummy kind of look around the teeth. Looks a little better. Thanks for watching that video everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it. This troglodon project has taken me a long time. I think it's about four months now. From the making the original casts, to putting it all together, to making the water effects, and now finally painting it. It's been a blast to do all these things and I've learned a lot along the way. Here in this painting video I tried to make my own contrast paint. and That kind of worked. So I'm glad I tried that as well. I really like how the purple contrasts with the sky blue water. Sky blue water? Painting the stuff down here under his neck was kind of a pain in the butt. There's not a lot of easy way to reach in behind and get it. They did the best I could. All in all, I like the way it came out. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments below. I love getting them. And I always read them. Stay safe, keep enjoying the hobby, and I'll see you next time. It was a really fun challenge. I'm glad I did it, even if I'm not going to use it on the table probably. <laughs>